My name is Brandon Foster, and I'm the technical artist and associate producer for America's Army. We've got a uh, it's called the Vicon system. It's a 28 camera system that uses uh, infrared light that's pulsing at a uh, frequency, I think. It's at 60 hertz right now. They can go higher depending on the fidelity of the capture you're trying to achieve. And we, you know, get our Special Forces SME in there. He puts on a black suit that, uh, you know, is light absorbent so it has no reflectivity on it. And then tracking markers are put at different points uh, on his body, or, you know, near joints like the knees, the elbows, shoulders, so that um, these 28 cameras that are around the room can then, if any, you know, three cameras at any time can see one of those dots on the character, uh, or on the soldier, they can triangulate that point in 3D space. The the main batch of uh, capturing that, that went down took about a week, and that was, you know, going four hours break for lunch, another three hours at the end of the day, and uh, we had Mark, who was our SME, in full kit doing all these things. So he had on his um, TV vest with the certain plates in it and, and everything. So we had uh, you know, he, his movement was restricted exactly the way it would be uh, with all of his gear on because we didn't want someone twisting around and doing stuff that they wouldn't be able to do with this, this rigid armor on them. So um, he, I, I think he saved all that up mentally for uh, when we all came out to the BCT because we, we made him do stuff that, you know, a, a real soldier would never do. But, you know, because it's a video game, people are going to try to do things that they necessarily shouldn't do. Like we were asked him, like, okay, we need you to reload the saw while you're prone and unsupported. He's like, why would I ever do that? It's like, you know, uh, a, a player might do that. You know, they might not deploy their bipod and they have to reload and they don't do that first. So <laughs> because of that choice, they have to do that. And he's like, God, you know, like <laughs> getting in there, slapping the box in, like all the while wearing all this gear. So yeah, he saved it all up. And every time we made him do something crazy, he's like, just wait, just wait till I get you guys out there. <laughs>